that I purchased three of for the holiday season for my dad and my two brothers. My producer, Allison, owns this. Her dad is a super fan. And if you haven't tried it or if you've seen it on the infomercial, I know you're going to love this configuration. Justin is back. It is the famous Air Hawk and might not seem like summer's around the corner because, yes, my mom and my dad on the farm, they're, they're going to get hit with that snow yeah, storm that they're crazy. talking about. Never ending. Never ending. But conversely, whether the weather is warm or mm -hmm. cool, here in Florida, our tires, you know, lose air pressure yeah. in the heat. In Minnesota, a lot of times, auto tires lose their pressure in the cold. And yes, Virginia, someday there will be swimsuit season for inner tubes, baseballs, <laughs> basketballs, soccer balls, and everything in between. So this is the famous Air Hawk. It is a price break. We love this. It's small but mighty. This great little trigger mm -hmm. design has, of course, its rechargeable battery, all of the various tips that I know Justin will walk you through. And then, of course, this great bag as well. Justin, I got to tell you, people who have tried this, they are super fans. It's amazing how much power it has in that little package, Yeah, basically. because it's actually, it's a real air compressor. It's a real air compressor. There's a piston that's actually built inside of this, and it is completely wireless, battery powered. You don't have to worry about being connected to anything. Now, we always think about hawking air from, uh, uh, you know, the gas stations. Now, that's why this is the air hawk, because now air's free again. You don't have to worry about grabbing any quarters. And... When we're talking about winter time, for every 10 degrees yeah. that it drops, you lose three PSI. Oh. So if it's dropping 30 degrees, that's nine PSI, you need to add some air to your tires. How are you gonna do it? You're not driving to the gas station, especially yep. if it's dropping uh, and it's getting colder. Yeah. Grab your air hawk. What's really simple and easy with this, has an L, uh, LCD display. You can see exactly what you're doing. You don't have to worry about squinting. You add your PSI right here. Everything is built in to this little tiny unit that yeah. looks like a drill. We have a six inch hose that lives right up here. You just go ahead and you just screw that on. Boom, it's done. One of the tips that we have right here is the one that you're gonna use with your basketballs and all of your little right. sports toys. But if I take this tip off, it's just going to be the same hose that you're using to go ahead and connect to your tires, okay. your dirt bikes, the tires on your cars. And then all the, right here is also where you have all of your inflatable tips. Oh, so nice. for all the fun toys, like we right. said, don't worry everybody, winter is almost over. You have that right here. You and then do. all I have to do is just like I was just saying, it looks like a drill, turn Hold it on. Light. Yeah. And start going. And it's so nice too, because when we said, don't let the size fool you, mm -hmm. obviously we can't get a car in our studios, <laughs> but this will legit, it, it's a legit air compressor. Yes. It will pump up automotive tires. I mean, that's the thing that's so amazing about this. Not only that, yes, it's the convenience, the soccer moms, the baseball, well, not the baseball mom. If you're inflating a baseball, then then you're in the wrong sport. But <laughs> but if it's an inflatable <laughs> but baseball. But if it's an inflatable baseball. Right. <laughs> but you get the general idea. Soccer moms, volleyball, mm -hmm. I mean, you name yeah. it. it, it Inflatable uh, inner tubes, uh, summer yeah. season the, is around the corner. They're getting bigger and bigger. They I are. don't know how my grandma was able to inflate just by her breath all of these inflatable toys, whether it's for the little ones or for the big ones, because the teenagers love these big ones. They do. But when it comes to bigger things like giant tires, maybe it could be with our wheelbarrow, it could be with our tires on our vehicles. Sure. Here's one of the things that I really love about the Airhawk is not only is it just simple, it's really lightweight and powerful, but the way that it's set up. You know, if it's your car tire, we're gonna read the PSI on our existing, uh, on our car tire. Now, that could be in your manual inside of your vehicle. Once you have that PSI set, you have those three buttons right here. It's on, plus and minus. Plus means you're adding the PSI. Now, what I have to do, pull that little trigger right here, set it down, right. and then walk away. Now, I don't know if you can get a full view it's of that so tire smart. real quickly. Because it's completely deflated. Yeah. And, and we have 80 pounds of river rock in there. It's going to inflate it. Once it's done, it's going to automatically wow. shut off. That's one of the things that I love is we've all done it where, first of all, you don't have the quarters, right? You're trying to pump oh, yeah. quarters into the machine. <laughs> yep. and, and then even with my Joy Mangano readers on, I, I can't read those little mm -hmm. gauges that come out. And especially because not only in terms of safety, but in terms of gas mileage and performance, right. you want to make sure that that, PS, or that pressure is mm -hmm. exactly where you want it. So to Justin's point, you dial in that number, and so it, it can't overinflate, it can't underinflate. Exactly. Right? And so what you notice I was doing with the with the little basketball is I, I didn't put anything in, I was just doing it by feel. 
Now you can do that with your yeah, bike tires, right? Course. You know, you kind of get an idea of where it's going to be, whether it's a football or basketball or volleyball or soccer ball, all those sports toys. But, uh, and oh, there you go, see? completely just shut Isn't up. Isn't that wild? So what's nice is now it's completely inflated. If it's, a bad, if it's bad weather, right, you just so happen to have a, uh, a deflated tire, it's in the morning, yeah. it's freezing out, it's raining, you're all dressed for work, you don't wanna have to sit out there while you're trying to inflate your tire. Put it, connect it, start inflating it, get back inside or get back inside yeah. of your car, whether it's your inside your, the safety of your vehicle or in the safety of your home, which is the other thing. Well, You're bringing that true. station now, the inflation station is what I like to call it, okay, <laughs> to your home and in the convenience of your home, inside your garage, instead of having to drive somewhere and then literally running around your yeah. car as if you're, you know, you're part of NASCAR, right? And then you're, before that thing runs out, you're gonna get more quarters. So it's just really simple and exactly. easy to go and do. So stupid question. So you've got yep. the rechargeable battery. Yep. So basically no pieces, parts, stuff to buy. Once I get this, mm -hmm. I can keep recharging it. Correct. And the other thing too is, so not only can you continue to recharge this, what I love is this looks like an additional battery. What it is, is in fact a DC adapter. Oh, the DC adapter. So all you have to do is connect that in to the bottom of your unit gotcha. right here, just like that. Once you do that, now if you don't want to use the battery on, your, uh, on the Airhawk, all you have to do is go ahead and connect it to your car and then use that same adapter, nice. which is really nice. But we have the other alternatives where yeah. you literally have to do that. I don't know if we want to walk over here yeah, quickly. Perfect. Um, obviously, we have a gigantic air compressor, which this yeah. to me is just overkill. Unless you're working in a car mechanic shop, right? You don't need one of these. It weighs a ton. It's super loud. This is what we typically think of when we think of an actual no, air right. compressor. Yeah. Um, but what about one of these, right? This is the one that has to be wired. If you have a trailer that's in the back, Okay, how are you gonna go ahead and inflate that, t that trailer? If you are going and maybe getting the boat ready for the lake and it is summertime or it is that spring vacation, you're not gonna wanna drive all the way into the back or maybe it's a wheelbarrow, it's just a tire that's not accessible for right. your vehicle. Now you'd have to have this connected. You don't have to since you have a cordless air compressor. The other thing too is, what about these? You know, we oh, see all these yeah. all the time, but this is literally just meant for inflating your tires on your wow. on your bike, right? No the same way. thing with these. No way. And nearly the same price that you'd pay for one of these, you're getting something that has so many different uses for all of your inflatables and all of your toys, and of course still, your ATVs, your dirt bikes, your motorcycle tires, your vehicle tires. So I think it's just something that's completely all encompassing. It, it is indeed, and once more, don't let the size fool you. That's why it's important for you to watch that videotape, if only because there are some things that we can't demonstrate in the studio, because obviously we're in the studio, Studio, but that's my favorite one. Thank you, Charlie. I mean, I almost wish we could just, you know, put that on a loop. If you only did your automotive tires, mm -hmm. because if you've ever had that warning light, it's like, oh man, right. you know, you got to get the tire inflated. <laughs> and to how your, low can I go? How low can you go? And that's just it. Not just from a safety and security yeah. factor, but for the life and longevity of your tires, for the safety of your family, for your gas mm -hmm. mileage. I mean, the list goes on and on. Bicycle tires, inflatable swim. <sighs> Boys, exercise balls, I mean, basketball, soccer balls, volleyballs, and everything in between, your automotive tires. When uh, the, it's actually, we've had a lot of rain in the Tampa St. Petersburg area. When we do go to the outdoor set, we have a full size SUV that we use this on yeah. in, in the outdoor set, which is. When you, when you, on first blush, when you look at this, I'm like, oh, okay, that's great for toys, but you have to kind of wrap your brain around just how powerful it is. Yeah, and that's the thing. Again, this is a true air compressor, has a piston that's built inside of it, but it's still lightweight it and is. portable, and it's something that, you know what, it's so easy to use because of just the design of it. It, it, it looks indeed. just like a drill, and it's just easy to use. It is. Justin, good to see you. <laughs> good to see you. Thank you. <laughs> good to see you.